This is Pranam Gua Thakurta from Edu TV, the first education channel. Today, we have a very important guest with us, Professor Dr. Sanjeev Sharma. He is a Pro Vice Chancellor, Sushant University, Gurugram. And from the school, we have Ms. Inaya Haq. She is a 12th grader from Kalka Public School, New Delhi, in our favorite program, Schools and University Connect program. I'll request Inaya to take the discussion further. Over to you, Inaya. Thank you so much, sir, for the warm introduction. Um, let me just start off by saying what a privilege this talk is to be chosen for this uh, with such an esteemed personality, uh, Professor Dr. Sanjeev Sharma. Now, sir, I would like to ask the first question to be that's a, that Sushant University is such a huge name and uh, as a 12th grader, I feel like this is such an important time in my life where I have to decide what courses I have to pursue because they will decide what professional pathway I take in my life. So could you please shed some light on what courses your university offers and how the admission process is? Good morning, uh, Mr. Pranav and uh, Inaya. First of all, I'm thankful to Pranav Guhaji for giving me this opportunity to share my views or experience. And it is really very important the kind of contribution this EduTV is making. This EduTV is not uh, creating an event or an interview, rather they are helping the student to take the most important decision of their life. Okay. Inaya, maybe because you are a 12th grader, maybe after a few months, you are going to take the most important decision of your life because you have to live that decision for your entire life. Suppose you end up in becoming a doctor, then definitely for your entire life, it will be blood, surgery, trauma, pain, birth, death. It means that whatever you will decide, you have to live that decision. Now, the problem with this decision or why this kind of events are required, why I am thankful to Pranav and EduTV, is that now disruption has become a new normal. Now, change is exponential. Now, the kind of perfection required from the student is uh, is reach, uh, performance required by the student is reaching the perfection level. In that stage, when these students, when Inaya and their friends, they are deciding, on one side, they are very blessed that they have every information on their fingertips. But on another side, the major challenge is that they are surviving in the most transformational age of human history. Today, you, today, the actual way we can say that struggle for existence and survival of the fittest. Yeah. At this stage, this EduTV, the role played by EduTV, the role or the initiative or the thought process taken by Pranav Guhaji, it is very, very important because it is helping the this students to take the right decision. And if a student takes the right decision, it is not only the growth of the student, growth of the family, growth of the society, it affects the growth of entire nation. Today, on one side, this digitization, another side, mobilization, another side, automation. These tornado of the change, who is at the central point of this tornado of the change? The students. They have to think about whether I should go for artificial intelligence, whether I should go for machine learning or data science or business analytics. On another side, the student has to decide whether I'm going to pharmacy for doing my pharmacy studies, pharmaceutical science studies, or I can think about drug designing tomorrow. I can think about vaccine production tomorrow. I can work on tissue engineering tomorrow. So that kind of entire gamut of changes. On one side, it is opening opportunities. On another side, it is creating challenge for the student to take the right decision because the skill sets are changing. The skill set which are considered important today, they may not be important after five years. Okay, Keeping that in view, coming on to my university, that is Sushant University, Aswail Ansal University, Gurugram, we have taken all niche programs. We are known for our architecture education worldwide. In India, it is one of the top most private uh, University for Architectural Education, where we offer BR. This year, we have we have started uh, offering BFA also, Bachelor of Fine Arts. 
Now, this Bachelor of Fine Arts is not only fine arts. We have added digital aspects also. We have added the graphical aspect also, graphic arts, graphic designing. So that is how we thought that each of our program, whether it is architecture, whether it is design, where we are talking about the latest communication design, we are talking about user experience design, product design, visual communication, interior architecture, interior designing, all the latest uh, aspects of design apart from fashion and textile designing, not only fashion designing, rather I'm again repeating, fashion and textile designing, where we can design the raw material also. At the same time, uh, in engineering, as I mentioned, that we are working on the latest requirement of the nation, that is cybersecurity. 20 million threats coming every day on Google. We are working on artificial intelligence, data science, robotics, that kind of specialized niche program which will not make the learning only enjoyable, but employable as well. On the other hand, apart from this architecture, design, planning, engineering, we are offering law, where we are offering BBLLB, BLLB honors, and LLB honors, and that too with a focus on the latest aspect like intellect, like cyber laws, which is the need of the art. When I talk about my uh, health science program, in health science, we are not talking about zoology, botany, chemistry. Rather, we are talking about cardiovascular technology, medical imaging and radiology. We are talking about optometry, pharmaceutical sciences, then psychology, psychology with the inclination towards medical sciences. At the same time, when I go to my management school for the commerce students, we are not talking about vanilla BCom. We are talking about BCom with international accounting and finance. We are talking about strategic finance. We are talking about digital uh, marketing in BBA and business analytics. My last program, what we offer for the student, which is one of the best program, is our hospitality, where we are offering four-year degree program in collaboration with Vettel. Vettel is the world number one ranking. The QS ranking of Vettel is one. They have 52 campus throughout the world in Paris, Mauritius, Singapore, France, USA, Canada, but in on the one campus that is with us. So that is the reason that we are offering very niche programs with the niche partners. Absolutely right. I felt so understood when you said that uh, this is such a survival of the fittest kind of scenario we are living in. So I felt super understood because even as a 12th grade, I feel like the pressure is very high that we have to do so well. We have to be perfect because if we're not, then there is no other way. And uh, honestly, hearing about your university was so comforting because I feel like in our generation, we are looking for ways to both be happy and successful. We are a generation that sort of prioritizes us, our happiness, but also our success. And I feel like your university is offering us so much of both. So that was very nice to hear about. Uh, and I would ask, also like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind, about the new education policy that we have. And it has it has completely changed our educational structure or it will in the upcoming times so do you feel like the new education policy that we are having the the 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 system will it overall affect a student's uh, the capacity for knowledge or would it affect a student's knowledge or uh, how would it impact when that when a student goes to college like, uh, what are your opinions on it? Yeah. So first, I'll answer your uh, first point where, where you mentioned that we want to be happy and we want to be successful also. That is what exactly I meant when I, when I mentioned about shifting the paradigm from enjoyable learning to employable learning. So we, we, need, we need to work on that. And we are working on that, that the learning, the if, if you see the statistics, uh, you will find that only 70, uh, 25 to 28% of graduates are employable. What about the other graduates? We have to make them employable graduates. Now coming on to NEP. NEP is opening or NEP is giving strength to the wings of those students who believe that skill set is the most important thing. NEP is giving them an opportunity to, to think beyond the boundaries or beyond the restrictions. 
when a student is interested in taking a particular skill set at a certain stage he realizes that no no this is not my right cup of tea he can go to another skill set to another institution so this credit banking facility it is removing the foundation that you have to stick to this institution for 4 years no there may be something which is very good in this institution but the next institution may give me the another best thing and right now we need not to prepare ourselves for what it is we have to prepare ourselves for what it may be and for when we are preparing for what it may be when we are saying that the struggle for existence and survival of the fittest we have to learn we have to think we have to prepare for the best and the best could not all best could not be in one single institution so with this nep with the focus on skill development with the liberty of uh, credit banking with the liberty of taking studying one year taking a certificate studying for two year taking a diploma three years degree four year honors degree it will give lot of opportunities lot of flexibility to students so it is not going to create any problem for the student rather it is giving them more diverse opportunities where they can think they can realize they can conceptualize or rather they can paint the canvas of their career as per their choice and as per their potential as well uh, yes sir so i was asking you about uh, that we have recently crossed 8 billion population on our planet earth and in india also we have such a huge population and uh, we are always taught and it is a general norm that if this population because we have a younger population that is such a huge advantage for us and if we educate that population it will be a much more uh, beneficial uh, statistic for us so as you are in such a high position at such an esteemed university how do you go about that statement that we have how do you, how do we balance both education and poverty in this uh, scenario that we have right now in india okay very very valid question rather a very impressive question in other the thing is that what is our perception what is our thought process if we take that population as a liability it is our negative mindset but if we take the same population as an asset as a resource then definitely we just by thinking that we have such a huge human resource we get confidence so the thing is that we have to channelize their energy you know that india the biggest strength of india is our youth population that the the youth the 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 proportion the fraction of youth among the total population is highest in india it means that we have a very very big energy bank power bank now we have to utilize it we have seen we have recently seen in covid when the entire world was struggling we were able to manage it we were not able to manage it for ourselves only we were able to manage by providing vaccines to other nations as well it means that our thought process was positive so population can only be a challenge once you take it as a liability but once you take it as a resource one once you take it as a productivity center once you give them a proper skill what is the thought process of the current government what is the thought process of the current you can say academic leaders that we have to give skill to that population and that population will produce the desired product for the entire world not only for india right so there is not at all any issue of the population we have to train them we have to utilize the potential we have to provide a platform for them to perform yes sir and i feel like in general the indian population is quite skilled by themselves yeah. so i completely agree with you when you say that we have to provide them with a platform i think that is the most uh, important thing that we need to have yeah now i will request ms anaya to conclude the meeting and we'll meet again with the dr sanjeev sharma and we'll also organize a visit of all the students to your university sir fantastic most welcome
Most welcome. Inaya, ma'am. Please conclude before the meeting. Before Inaya conclude, I once again want to thank Pranav ji. Right, Pranav ji, this is the most important initiative you have taken. It might not be uh, thought very well by other person, but if you really think about it, the kind of initiative you are helping the student to choose their career on which the entire life depends. These, this decision in the next three months, just 90 days of the student, it will affect their next 50 years. So if we realize that Very what right. kind of kind of platform, what kind of bridging the gap between the expert and the expertise required, that is, that's a very important initiative. I'm, I'm impressed. Rather, I appreciate as a teacher, as a parent, as a member of this country, as a part of this population, I'm very much thankful to you that you have thought very differently. That yes, these are the skill experts and these are the seekers. Let match them. Let connect them. Let them share directly. So my sincere thanks and regards to you and your entire team for this wonderful thought process, for this unique thought process. Sir, we are thankful to you, senior people like you, like uh, Professor Dr. Sanjeev Sharma, Pro Vice Chancellor, Sushant University, and young students, 12th graders like Inaya yes. Haq. Sir, because of yes. the technology, it has been seen like our channel is watched by more than 8 lakh people. So many students yes. across the world, maybe from some other country, some other boards, and they are also getting sir, a lot of ideas about what they can do after class 12. I'm really thankful to schools Absolutely. as well as the universities. Yes, Inaya. Yes, sir. So this was a very knowledgeable experience and such an honorable experience. Honestly, this was a very much informative. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity, uh, both to EduTV and to Dr. Anj uh, Sanjeev Sharma. So with this, I think we'll be wrapping up. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you, Nayak. I would also like to thank uh, Dr. Anju Melotra, who's heading Kalka Public yeah, School. Yeah. She had been always helping us in these kind of endeavors. And definitely, uh, Inaya, Dr. Sanjeev Sharma is helping us from last 10 years. Before even we started YouTube and other things, channels and all, he had me helping us and we have traveled together to places like Nepal and other countries. Thank you so, yes. so much of you. And after meeting Inaya, what I feel, uh, Professor Dr. Sanjeev, our country's future is in safe hands. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you, Inaya. Thank you, Inaya. All the best. All the yes, best, Inaya. Inaya. Was, you were saying something. Yes. Sir, I was saying this because of uh, your initiatives and your guidance that we'll be able to have the next uh, 50 years well decided when we yes. pass the 90 yes. years. Yes, yes. And at any stage, uh, Inaya, if you need any support from us, from guidance from us, not only you, but your classmates, your friends, we are most welcome to visit us. Or if you want, we can come and share our expertise yes. with you on a particular yes. topic, particular subject. Both that can be done. Right. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, sir. Bye, Dr. Sanjeev. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. Bye.